What is up guys? My name is the Surfing Ginger Book and so a brand new video and today guys in this video there is a brand new golden ticket cam chancellor and we're going for him. Golden tickets, man. I really want to pull one this season. I've actually pulled one already, Antonio Cromartie, but he by far wasn't the best one in the game. So, hoping that EA put some luck, put some golden tickets in my packs today, and let's get this started. We're opening all of our coins worth of pro packs. Not the best method of opening or going for golden tickets. Not the best packs out in general. Um, you know, touchdown packs have been very dry for me lately. So, decided that I want to focus this video on opening pro packs and see where this will take us. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. And I'll catch you guys once we pull that golden ticket that I know we'll get today. And don't worry, guys. I know I'm opening all my coins until... Oh, we're going to get a brand new Desmond True font going into... I think he's a Mike Evans set for the final edition. Is that what it is? Is it a Mike Evans? Yes, it is. Brand new final edition. 93 overall, it looks like. So that's got to be a good pull. Already starting up better than last video. We pulled, like, barely any elites in my last pro pack opening. So very hyped that we're getting these nice pulls already. But like I was saying, guys, don't worry about me uh, opening all my coins for the pro packs because I'm just going to go ahead and turn these back into trophies, open flashback packs, open large quick sells, and we'll make our coins back. Do not worry one bit. I know I'm not worrying, so you guys shouldn't worry either. Oh, we're getting a draft player right there, Corey Coleman. I haven't really been into this draft content too much. There is a 99 Jared Goff that looks really, really cool. But uh, I'm not really into draft content, draft content right now. It's a cool promo, but definitely not the best, I don't think. But you can't really expect EA to drop all these amazing players, especially since it's coming towards the end of the season. Season score is actually probably going to come up very, very soon. Uh, it's May now. we got about four more months until the season is over. I'd say in about two months or so, uh, season score will get into the game, which is cool. It, it really uh, signifies the end of the season coming up, which is cool. I'm trying to think about what I did last season to prepare for the end. Um, you know, I've, I think I have a better team at this point than I did last year. Um, I'm trying to think of what, what was dropped, what kind of content there was. I know Positional Heroes, Ultimate Legends, Final Edition, and that was pretty much it, I think. Um, but let me know what happened at the end of last season besides season score. I know there was, um, yeah, I don't know what else, but let me know in the comment section below if I'm forgetting something. But let's go back into this pack opening and get some more elites. It's been a while. We got that Desmond True font, but nothing much since then. We're honestly not even, like, close to halfway through this pack opening, so we definitely have a lot of time left to get that golden ticket, uh, can chancellor but what's gonna happen i promise you it will happen today if not i'm just gonna have to like quit mad mobile no god please no honestly though the chances are very very low so i will i won't be quitting mad mobile do not worry guys i probably won't pull the can chancellor but you gotta stay confident you gotta expect those pulls oh double elite pull plus the road sign road signs have been kind of out of the out of packs it seems like no one's really hyped over those signature players anymore which is understandable Already one third of the way through this pack opening guys and we've honestly only pulled that one elites changing right now with that Calais Campbell pull That's like amazing timing. That's really really funny and insane, but wow guys It's getting it's been pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. It's been bad, but I'm still optimistic You always have to stay op optimistic when it comes to opening packs Especially when you want EA to be on your side, but yeah guys things are very exciting right now for me tomorrow Friday is actually my last day of school for seniors. We got out three weeks earlier, two and a half weeks earlier from the rest of the school. So it's so nice being done with school. It's it's awesome. We have, I have one more final and then we have something called the senior walk and then we're done. We have a half day tomorrow. It's an amazing day for the seniors. I'm so excited to be out of school. Um, it's not amazing that this, that this uh, pack isn't loading. So I'll catch you guys once this happens. Okay, took us a while, but we're back. While we had a network timeout, we had all this bad stuff going on in the game. It's been really bad for me lately, internet-wise. I don't know what's going on. We're actually getting new internet this summer, though, which is cool. Hopefully, it gets better when I go to college and I have my own internet. But honestly, it probably won't be, considering that it'll probably be like a dorm-wide internet connection. And it won't be well. I'm assuming it's not going to be that good. But I'm hoping for, for the best, honestly, with uploading videos all the time and stuff. But, but yeah, guys, I've been thinking about uh, doing more vlogs. Doing uh, Honestly, though... I might do like a vlog channel. I don't know. I want to post videos that I like to do. I want to edit videos the way I want to do it. And it seems like when I post new stuff or I try new editing and stuff like that, I get so much criticism as we get a Patrick Peterson right here base card. Um, I, I want to go ahead and get real with you guys real quick. You know, I, I like posting content a lot. When I post one vlog about my life, about what I do, 
um, and lose 30 plus subscribers. That's uh, honestly blows my mind. I don't get why that happens. Oh, we're getting an update team final edition. Let's go Brandon Williams. Looks like he also is going into that Mike Evans set. You know, I saw the update team and I thought we did the Cam Chancellor pull, but what happens happens. Like I was saying guys, it's really, really annoying when you post something that you think you work hard on. You work, you, you know, you have good t content, you post a fun video, and it's different slightly from your other content, but still you get so much hate for it, you know. Um, I don't know, I guess my channel, I want it to be something that it's not apparently. You guys, I I'm not saying this is your fault, I probably have made many mistakes growing this channel, but when you post vlogs and you post, oh that's cool, we get a positional hero stuff. Um, but when you post vlogs and you post something slightly different editing wise, anything like that, and you get so much criticism, it just really confuses me. Like, I will edit my videos in a, in a good way, and I try to be funny, and I am, it, it's a funny video, but then I'll get comments saying, oh man, you're trying to be like Mad Mobile Slay, like, like what, 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 what? Like, how is me editing my videos in a funny way, trying to be like another Mad Mobile YouTuber? If that's the logic you want to use to find criticism in my videos and my content, go ahead and say that every Mad Mobile YouTuber is copying the very first YouTuber who ever posted any video, because we're posting videos to YouTube. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. I do apologize for getting real with you guys for a second, but I, I don't know, I just wanted to say something like that, because it does get annoying. So, with, I know I'm editing this video, I can already say I have ideas for how I want to edit this video. And if you, if you guys, you know, think about leaving comments that criticize that, just don't or just unsubscribe because I want people who w follow my videos to like what, like what I post and want to see new things and want to see improvements in my content, my editing. And I don't know, if you guys aren't for that, go ahead and unsubscribe right now, it's cool. I just want to go ahead and get that off my chest because I've been thinking that for a while and you know, it's kind of been like held inside me. But like I'm saying guys, I really want to go ahead and just have fun with YouTube. I'm going to continue to have fun, um, but I just hope that you guys are more open to what I'm trying to do. Okay, keeping the ball rolling guys, we got a Jarrell Casey base card. Back to the pack opening. That's like our fourth or fifth elite, which is cool. Ever since I started complaining about not pulling elites, we're getting some, which is awesome. Let's gradually get up and up and up to better and better pulls and finally pull that Cam Chancellor uh, golden ticket. Man, that card looks awesome. Just the golden ticket art in, in, in itself looks really, really cool, I think. And I love the way EA did that. Pixel poster, whoever designs the cards, man. It's awesome what they've done with the card art for Ultimate Legends. Golden tickets, you really, really gotta love it. Ah, oh, Campus Hero, 89 overall. Let's go, Manti Teo. He went to Notre Dame. That's one of my favorite schools. I actually have a lot of family, I have a lot of family who went to Notre Dame, so. Manti Teo, man, welcome to the squad. You're probably gonna be sold, but that's really, really cool. I saw that plus set, man. I thought... I thought he had a higher overall, but 89, man, that's awesome. He's probably going for a decent amount, which is awesome. Um, yeah, let's get this going. Oh, Roadside Seattle. That's awesome. He's going for, like, 50K, I think. Maybe even more, maybe less, but 50K is a solid estimate, I think. So I'll definitely take that. We are on the final five packs, guys. Haven't pulled anything since that last clip you saw. But let's keep going. Let's honestly, this is our last couple chances for this Cam Chancellor. So I'm hyped to see if we will get one. I tweeted out earlier, man. I really want to pull this thing. It's it's really something that I really want to get to add him to the squad, make my defense that much better. But you know what? The luck has seems to have run out since uh, we pulled those Ultimate Legends. Oh, an All Pro Pack. We might be getting better and better. Okay, we're gonna pull the Cam Chancellor in that All Pro Pack. Unless we do this in this final pro pack. So let's go ahead and open this one. Then we'll run over to the all pro pack we have. And it's not going to happen in this one. That means it's going to happen in this next all pro pack. Here we go. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Really? Take two starts right now, guys. Let's open this all pro pack and finish it off with this Cam Chancellor pull. And we're going to get no Cam Chancellor. But thank you all so much for watching this episode. But, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy in any way to perform, please hit that like button. Join the subscribers, guys, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for listening to my rant and everything I had to say in this video. I really appreciate it. I'm over now, though, and I'll talk to all you beautiful people later. See ya.